She's a lot leaner. She has become a lot more aggressive. Parks, after Nicaea Eliley wiped out for Nebraska, Parks has Michigan State's first four points. Kayla, Kayla Bellis on the floor, sophomore from Ithaca, Michigan now, and Sam Hybe with the runner off the glass. Sam Hybe, so smooth. Ten to shoot for Nia Clowden. Working on Eliley, one of the premier defenders in the Big Ten, and she gets a friendly bounce. A turnover. Julie Ayral turns it over right to Sam Hybe. Hybe does the rest and earns a trip to the foul line. Here she is now with the pass outside the arc to Whitish, the senior. Whitish off the window. She's got a nice little mid-range. She reads well using the bank. Joiner, athletic move. Here comes the freshman out of Saginaw Heritage. Her first two of the game. Only sprinted out of the gates. They got off to a 5-0 start. Punctuated by a win over number 14, Notre Dame. Osmonds with a beautiful spin. Big opportunity for Michigan State to get back in this game, but they still trail by six. How about Michigan State continuing to stay on the offensive glass? That player screen. Woo. Ivy is having herself a day. 15 points for the sophomore out of Moorhead High School, home of the Spuds. Michigan State's defense is one of the top in the Big Ten in steals per game, and yet it's Nebraska that has been feasting off Michigan State turnovers, but that's a triple for Michigan State that makes it a six-point game. Earned four of their five starters from last year, but injuries have already taken its toll in the early going of this season. Tough move by Ashton Verbeek to get us going in the third quarter. Watch her. Yeah. We were talking to her about that earlier at shoot-around. She likes to just hang out in bed and watch Netflix, that's too. Her, that's her thing. Sleeve on her left shoulder, number 14 for Nebraska. She's on the floor for the first time today. Cook inside. They continue to pound it on the inside. Ayralt with a hesitation and an errant shot. Osmond saves it. McCutcheon. He's feeling it. You bet she is. Right now, Nebraska very stagnant. Whitish with nowhere to go, so call for the ball screen, but you don't leave the shooter alone. Team that can grab about 12 and a half off of the game. Leading one of the leaders among the conference. What a cut by Eliley, and Brown was pinpoint with the pass. And that's what Nebraska can get every time if they continue to have the poise, and I think that they've done a really good job at that. Cloudin puts up a prayer, and it goes down. Clouded. Oh my goodness. Ivy's jumper fails her there. And here comes Clouded and the Spartans. Osmond alone on the wing. They needed it. That's a big dagger right there. And it goes to Bellis. Around board. To the free throw line with a chance to give Michigan State its first lead since the first quarter. The inbounds pass was tipped. Hybe threw it up, and it wasn't even close. Great defense on the inbounds by Julie Ayralt. Two possessions, one point for Nebraska to start overtime. Joyner, that's her hot spot. Oh, my goodness. Offense has to continue to move. McCutcheon. Look at McCutcheon. Campbell's, and it pays off. She scores. And you'll see the full court pressure. McCutcheon, good pass on the inside. She makes something happen to Bellis. McCutcheon. Oh, beautiful feed. You can't beat that. On Susie Merchant's staff. Bringing a lot of WNBA and overseas experience to this team. Brown on the drive, 4-2. Eliley with the Euro step is going to pull out the win. Bellis pulls down the whitish miss, and what a response by Michigan State.